At your San Antonio Museum of Art, there's a world inside to explore. It's a way to travel back in time and forward to the future. The San Antonio Museum of Art is 5,000 years of history, world cultures, and inspiration. Let your imagination soar and make new memories together in a world-class museum adjacent to the Pearl. Visit your San Antonio Museum of Art. Join us. Be inspired. Good evening, and welcome to Seasons of Art, a SAMA celebration. I am Emily Sano, the co-interim director of the San Antonio Museum of Art. We are excited that you have chosen to spend part of your Friday night with us as we raise money to support the museum. I think we can all agree that this has been a difficult year for everyone, including those in the arts community whose work makes our world more beautiful. Let's all hope that 2021 is a better year for all. 2021 will be a special year for SAMA as it is our 40th anniversary. We are very proud of all that has been accomplished since 1981 in 40 years, and we could not have done it without you. If you haven't visited SAMA in a while, I hope that you will come to see us. Don your mask and come in. We are a safe place to be as our galleries are spacious and there's plenty of room to spread out. Thank you again for your financial support tonight. Get ready to enjoy a wonderful production. We would like to dedicate this evening's performances to our dear friend, Peggy Mays, who passed away a few weeks ago. She and her family have been generous supporters of the museum for many years and are the underwriting sponsors of tonight's program. And now I'm honored to introduce our very talented master of ceremonies and familiar face to all in San Antonio, KSAT anchor, Steve Spreester. Hello, and thank you for that warm welcome, Emily. I'm excited to be at the San Antonio Museum of Art, and I am so glad that you are joining me here after hours. This is a special place to me. 24 years ago, after my wife and I said our vows, we had our wedding reception in this very spot. And so it's close to our heart, and we hope by you being here, it demonstrates it's close to yours. You're in for a treat as we look at beautiful art and enjoy a variety of entertaining performances. As you know, the San Antonio Museum of Art, your San Antonio Museum of Art, opened its doors here in the former Lone Star Brewery with a small collection 40 years ago this coming March. Since that time, it has grown to house among the largest collections of Latin American art, Asian art, and ancient Mediterranean art in the Southern United States. With a collection of more than 36,000 objects, it is the only encyclopedic museum in Central and South Texas and it takes all of us to make sure this lone star of San Antonio continues to thrive. And that's why we're here tonight. Please support SAMA and make this night successful by purchasing a raffle ticket to win one of these great prizes. A night at the Hotel Emma and dinner for two at supper. An autographed limited edition Vincent Valdez print of Manu Ginobili and four courtside Spurs tickets. A spectacular piece of handcrafted art jewelry from the SAMA shop or a special dinner for eight after hours inside the museum. Let's begin our evening by thinking about spring and understandably we may want to forget about the spring of 2020, but let's take a moment to look at how artists represented spring through objects in the Asian art collection. This beautiful charger attributed to the Yuan dynasty around 1279 to 1368. It's resplendent with chrysanthemum flowers, leaves and ducks. Here's some other examples of spring in the Asian collection. Our 
Our first performance of the evening, the Strings Performers Musical Offerings. They're going to perform a medley of Chinese folk music in front of Sama's Scholar's Rock. It's a gift given last year by the city of Wuxi, our sister city in China. This rock came from the bottom of Lake Taihu, a giant lake in the southern part of the Yangtze River Delta. Scholar's rocks have been enjoyed for more than a thousand years in China for their unique shapes that represent cosmic mountains with heavenly grottoes and fantastic peaks. Large rocks were used as decorations in Chinese gardens, while smaller ones were collected and treasured as decorative items in scholars' studios. These limestone formations, naturally eroded by water and wind, are said to have inspired meditations on nature and the physical world that have influenced Chinese scholars, poets, and painters for centuries. Before hearing from musical offerings, please take a minute to make a donation by texting Love Sama, Love S A M A, to 36413 or purchase some raffle tickets. Check out these great items. Thank you. 
Thank you for that beautiful performance. Now the next season to celebrate, summer. It's like we're making up for lost time, right? <laughs> this beautiful and dynamic tree of life that's over my shoulder, donated by the San Antonio Museum Association, the precursor of SAMA. 
a gift of the Mexican government in celebration of the 1968 Hemisphere, where a duplicate piece was on display. That was a summer to remember. Trees of life frequently occur in Mexican popular art, and this is certainly a stunning example. The center tree beautifully depicts biblical scenes, including Adam, Eve, and the serpent in the Garden of Eden. Did you know that Sama's Latin American popular art collection was started with a generous donation by none other than Nelson Rockefeller in 1985? What better way to celebrate summer or any occasion for that matter than with a mariachi band? Ladies and gentlemen, I present Trio de San Antonio. Please enjoy. Yeah, this 
was great. And just like that, we're halfway through the year. I hope you pause to buy a raffle ticket or make a donation to SAMA via text to give. If you haven't, please do it now. I'm excited to announce our next performer is San Antonio's own poet laureate, Andrea Vocab Sanderson. In March of 2020, Mayor Ron Nuremberg and the city of San Antonio announced that Sanderson would serve as San Antonio's fifth poet laureate. She has created a special piece just for tonight as we enjoy some of the incredible pieces of art from Sama's collection of contemporary art. basket into the equinox, desire brimming around the wicker rim. She began to calmly collect, shifting to quickly clamoring at the moist soil, searching for the rounds, hints of smooth and rigid acorns protruding from the ground. Faintly, she can hear the distinct sound of falling shells. So she traced the commotion to where they fell, one step at a time. Falling in line, she came to them. Each one savored in her grips as she grew more and more appreciative. Her eyes danced with delight for the delicate things she treasured most. Her heart told her to relish every single one and hold it close. Her instincts told her to begin gathering every kernel of hope she could unearth, gathering to preserve everything of worth as adversity abounded. The faint noise became heavier as it resounded. Memories began to pound upon her mind as she inclined to each one, memories of an easier time full of folly and fun. Memories of gathering communities and basking in warmer days. Times she was embraced by the sun outside with nothing masking her mouth or obstructing her gaze. She remembered touching friends and family as she traced this acorn maze. From zigzags on moist grass to the crisp leaves crumbling beneath her trek. She trotted, she jogged, she crawled, she leapt, she stepped, tiptoed, she clopped. She paused every time she found an acorn and held it in awe. Held it. So the mud cleaved to her skin, began soiling her skirt. The muck logged beneath her pretty polished nails. Debris flew into her hair. Gravel dug into the bend in her knees. Pebbles congregated at the soles of her feet, lodging themselves in her heels. Grass and dried leaves lunged into her flesh as she knelt and dealt with the press. The dirt was on her dress 
and she pressed. Dirt was on her chest and she pressed. Dirt braided itself into the tresses of her hair and she pressed. The mess and the pressure of dirt soiling her was so abrasive in nature, bonding to her body. Oddly, it masked her until it blended so well with her form that she could barely distinguish her normal self anymore. They poured and they poured, the acorns just poured, just as she believed they would fall. She was careful to hasten and gather them all each morsel of hope, faith, sustenance to grip in these perilous times. And although the earth ripped into her palms, her determination never died. No matter the trials she faced through the seasons, the acorns remained at her side. Remained. They remained at her side. Falling, falling to the ground, soft and light, beautiful rounds. Falling, falling to the ground. Falling, falling to the ground, soft and light, beautiful rounds. Falling, falling to the ground. once told me the season change brings about a ballet of decay. Crisp amber leaves whirling and swirling about the concrete streets in the most vibrant commotion. So I listen to the crunching and cracking beneath the hurried feet, like the sound of teeth feverishly biting the bullet and swallowing a gunpowder kiss. You cannot miss the scent of harvest's last dying breath upon your neck. Such a bountiful shiver before the buds wither away. You could sway and soak up the majesty or mistake it for misery, but either way, the rush and stillness are symbolic for worlds beyond our comprehension. Does one always wonder what lies beyond the mystic dimension of death? The harvest is the sweetest prelude, the depth of decadence immeasurable by nature. We stand before the dearly departed and wave regally, juxtaposed to a somber sigh. Hold still for a moment and bar our hearts. Bide our hearts not to cry. Do not cry. JJ stole my range, left tears on my window pane, reflecting green flecks of disrespect in her eyes. Yeah, JJ stole my fame, 
Left me with nothing save my name Dissecting my pride with emerald knives in her eyes I didn't suspect she was a bone collector She'll chip and chisel if you let her The poison ivy is creeping in her smile I didn't predict she'd be a vicious pretender She'll hiss and she'll hate to you surrender The fruit of deception is ripening on her vines Jade eyes, jade eyes, epidemic of envy Jade eyes, jade eyes, I'm everything she wants to be Jade eyes, jade eyes, ooh, she ain't no friend of me She just my enemy Jade eyes, jade eyes, jealousy Yeah I got this ill feel of malcontent and ill will I keep my eyes peeled, she look at me with steel grill Me mugged, eyes bug like I can take your man When she resolve her plan, blow toxins out her diaphragm It's like she got the diagram with color-coded plots She playing target practice where I stand at marks a spot She wanna stop my shine and have her life replaced with mine But envious is crime and girl you must be out your mind She thinks my life's a blog, it's curious and not a line Slip up and just one time I see the dagger at my spine I'm dodging green blades, no acid rain on my parade I see your plan, Jade, you're faking this all a charade You're faking this all a charade You're faking this all a charade Ooh, ooh, ooh You're fake Before we get to our last season, please consider making a contribution to SAMA by purchasing raffle tickets or texting a donation. The museum is dependent on the generosity of donors like you to fulfill its mission to provide exceptional experiences with art. There is no doubt about it. We need you. And finally, we come to our current season, winter. The artist Ernest Lawson perfectly captures a chilly winter scene in this painting called High Bridge, Harlem River. Yeah, it's cold just looking at it. There are many iconic images of the cold winter months and the holidays, but none more recognizable than Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker. Here to perform the Waltz of the Snowflakes are dancers from the Ballet Conservatory of South Texas.
friends, that brings us to the end of our program. But before we go, we have a final performance that I think you will enjoy, a perfect ending for our time together and for the year 2020. I can't thank you enough for supporting SAMA through your donations tonight. I want to especially thank our event sponsors who have made this event successful. And of course, a special thank you to the Mays Family Foundation. Remember, it's not too late to make a contribution or buy a raffle ticket tonight, tomorrow, up until December 17. For our final performance, we welcome the Chamber Ensemble from the San Antonio Youth Chorale. The San Antonio Museum of Art exists to inspire joyful learning and enrich lives through exceptional experiences with art. Please help us continue to do that. Text Love Sama. That's L O V E S A M A. 23613.